West African Regional Bloc ECOWAS has condemned uh, the push by Niger's military junta to bring uh, treason charges against ousted President Mohamed Bazoum. The bloc says the move represents yet another form of provocation and contradicts the willingness of the military to restore constitutional order through peaceful means. On its part, the U.S. State Department expressed its dismay that the Niger leader had been charged with spokesperson Vedan Patel describing the charges as, uh, quote, completely unwarranted and unjustified. The junta took power about three weeks ago, keeping Bazoum in detention in the process. While in a statement read out on national television, the army spokesman said they'd been gathering evidence against the de de deposed uh, leader and what they claimed were his local and foreign collaborators. In any event, the government of Niger has to date gathered the necessary evidence to prosecute before the competent national and international authorities the ousted president and his local and foreign accomplices for high treason and undermining the internal and external security of Niger following his exchanges with the nationals of foreign heads of state and heads of international organizations. Meanwhile, the African Union's Peace and Security Council has met to receive an update on the evolution of the situation in Niger and the efforts to address it. The meeting took place at the AU headquarters in the Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa. Those attending include AU Commission Chief uh, Moussa Faki Mahamat, as well as representatives from Niger and the West African bloc ECOWAS. Last week, Faki expressed concerns at the reported poor conditions of Bazoum's detention, calling his treatment at the hands of coup leaders unacceptable. And in Niger, the military leaders say they will soon provide details for the convergence of the country's parliament uh, to allow for a possible uh, constitution review. Uh, formation of a Supreme Council for Communication and a Human Rights and Protection Commission. Meanwhile, a former presidential candidate in the country, Abdul Qadir Umaru, is appealing to ECOWAS and other international communities uh, well to accept the junta and start engaging with General Abdurrahman Chiani to fast track uh, the process for a smooth transition to democracy. In an exclusive interview with the Rise News in Niamey, the politician says majority of Nigerians are now at home with the military, hence the need uh, for new engagements uh, so as to prevent civil unrest in the country. I pray that the ECOWAS leadership and uh, to understand Niger's situation and to support Niger about this uh, problem because in our situation now when we do coup d'etat and uh, all of an uh, international community said no is a big problem for for us so we have solution for this problem equas go to do exactly under uh, open dialogue uh, under uh, in niger so the regime the military uh, government and the ECOWAS go to take one way and the co to conduct uh, transition. Maybe for six or nine, uh, nine months or one year. Is that is necessary to get a solution, a peace solution, and that is for, that is my proposition. Because what? So, if ECOWAS go to, no, to say no, is obligatory to take Bazoum to make him or to make him in to continue to exercise power in Niger that is a very big problem all right uh, we have uh, Awal Ibrahim live in Niamey to give us all the latest in uh, Niamey Awal so good to see you apparently it's nightfall in Niger uh, close neighbor to uh, Nigeria well uh, Awal we seem to be getting conflicting reports coming from the uh, military junta in Niger. On the one hand, uh, they are saying, at least they told the Nigerian uh, Islamic clerics uh, during their visit, that they are open to dialogue. And then again, they have proof and uh, you know evidence 
as to high treasonable charges against uh, the ousted president. Uh, help us understand exactly what's happening in Niger. Well, actually, because it has the irony, because based on what we heard, you know, hours ago, that's about the evil too, that the junta is now ready to talk with the APRAS, and subsequently, at the early hours of the day, we worked up with a different dimension of this issue in Niger, whereby they said they are still on filing evidence that would make it possible for them to prosecute the president, Mohammed Razak. And also to solidify this position, I think just moments ago, a document was released whereby the military is saying it will soon brought out, you know, measures on how they will constitute a kind of a national consultative forum, a kind of a national assembly in a democratic setting, which will now look into issues, perhaps constitutional review, and also the issue of human rights and protection should also have its own commission, as well as that of the press or rather communication consultative forum, as it's been referred to here in Niger. You know, this is coming from the document that was already signed on the 28th of July by the President of uh, General, rather the Head of State General Abdurrahman Sadi himself, and was made available today where the federal government secretary right here in Niemi. So the whole thing now is what is the direction of things? Are they going to, you know, soften grounds for negotiation, for diplomatic discussion with Air Force and other international organizations to see how the Niger can quickly go back to civil position? Or oh, they are trying to, you know, gain ground so that they will stick to power for a longer period of time. I think that in the near future, we'll get to know about this because already the ministers have started to see it. Like today, the justice minister, as, rather the education minister, is in office, and by tomorrow, a help expecting the minister for lands also to assume duty. Uh, we have to apologize to our viewers there. The distorted sound audio coming from Niamey there. Thank you very much. We'll be, of course, uh, joining you as we stay on developments in Niamey.